Hello guys, the Master Jewel Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we are going to play more rated with our Prank Kid deck. So we're going to go ahead and hop right in. Also, somebody told me that a new ban list drops every month in Master Duel. It, like, that's crazy. I didn't, I didn't actually know that. I never really paid attention to the ban lists. Like, I knew the last one dropped, of course, but... Every month is crazy. That's actually really cool, though. So, if anyone knows how... Or I guess, oh, by the time this video comes out, it might have already dropped. I don't know. If anybody knows where to, like, get information about that, let me know. Oh, wait, this hand's bad. Like, um, what Twitter page should I follow so that way I know when it goes live? I guess I could just DP. I mean, I guess we... Yeah, I guess we do. Also, I added, like, a bunch of more just random going second cards. So that way I could, like, fill the deck up. Like I said, I was going to. So we're going to go ahead and bring out Rocket Ride. Okay. And then... After that, I think... It's like, we could go Maxi or Valor here. I think we honestly just summon Valor. Yeah, summon Valor. More likely that I called by Valor at this point, and also Maxi can draw into a bunch of interruptions. And if I don't lose, I could draw into a bunch more of going second cards, and those should help out a lot. But I do pay 3,000 life points turn one. Okay, so we go ahead, summon DPE, use both of these, and then summon. Alright, and then, I think, I mean, I think we can use, uh, I probably shouldn't use the effect, no, 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 because no, called by is super popular. Yeah, I was going to say, I could use the effect just to get this off field. Um, I guess it's not even worth it. Nah, yeah, it's definitely not worth it. I'm not, like, afraid of super poly or anything here. <laughs> they activated? That'd be, yeah, that'd be so horrible. Getting super poly in, like, this position is just game. That's why, like... I used to always play around it. You just had to, but... Okay, plain flounderies. Oh, man. Yeah, let's keep Maxi. Let's not keep Vail. Oh, my God. I deserve that. I mean... Uh, I didn't know flounderies was still, like, super played. I've seen... I've played it, like, twice now. Yeah, I think it's my, my second time playing it. The first time I lost to Snow because I just wasn't prepared for it, and they summoned it and just set my whole field. And I was like, you know what? That's fair. I played into that really bad. But it's cool that people are playing Snow because that card's just bonkers. Okay, so they have Ostrich Empen, and then Normal Summon Ostrich. Okay, Effective Ostrich. Now, we're just going to... Yeah, they searched Emp and then... I mean, we're just going to chain DPE. And then, any response on that side? Nope. Okay, so... Um... I think... Wait, what's my set card again? Oh, wait, hold on. Is there a way to, like, check this? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm not going to mess up. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's just called by. It's just called by. Um, to be honest, I think we just give it a called by. So that way we can keep Anaconda if he doesn't have another bird. Uh, let's try. And then we'll pop this. I know that if he has, like, another guy plus a Mega Monarch. Oh, wait, I should have popped Anaconda. Or at least popped this. I forgot that this is going to go from Graveyard to good away so now he can just beat over this anyways oh i played bad yeah i should have popped the other one i didn't think about that oh my gosh i'm so bad but this is another deck i, I want to see how many ultras and stuff are in this i just want to keep building a bunch of decks it's cool i don't want to keep playing like the same deck and then yeah resolve fusion destiny and then activate the effect of it okay because I was pretty sure that my opponent wasn't going to put anything in grave. But since I activated this, like, I'm not 100% sure. We're going to standby phase. Bring back out our DPE. Oh, uh, yeah, just definitely summon this in attack position. 
If we have anything happen, we also have Regeki. Oh, okay, so they're gonna macro. I guess we just DP this, right? Maybe we DP that. Um, what are the odds? I DP the set card, play around the trap. It's in response to macro, so then I get my DP back. But then I can't play it all this turn. I think it can't be destroyed by card effects. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just let this go through. Chain maxi, so we don't need specials. What is this? All face up monsters on the field are changed to attack position, their battle position can't be changed. Oh. Oh, okay. So they're just not real. Yeah. Okay, that checks out. That checks out, actually. So we can deny or summon. I don't want to use my Regeki. So just bring this out. And then, no. Yeah, I don't want to put back Dasher. Okay, use this effect. And then pop this, pop macro. So that way I can now print kid combo. Also, I really should be drawing a print kid like every game because I think I play, what is it? Three, 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 two, two. So 13 plus three small world. So I have 13 actual print kids. And then three more cards that are also Temple, or Aqua Chantress. Sadly, still don't have enough for Souls and Illusion. I think I'm just going to hold off on those. Maybe maybe there's another extender I could play. Maybe I just play, like, Parallel or something. Maybe I try something like that. Getting Ash there kind of sucks. Yeah, it's wanting me. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no good link to make there. So we'll go Battle. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate, but hopefully he just doesn't have a bird, because a bird would be scary. And if it is a bird, hopefully it's eagle. I do have Regeki. Regeki can help out a lot. Oh, I mean, I guess it, like it's tough because they have March, and it's like they don't summon statue, so it's not like Regeki, because like statue's banned. So March really protects everything that's good. Okay, so they just go end phase. Oh. No, I'm not going to use the effect. I feel like maybe they just like drew called by there. I'm just not going to risk it. Yeah, and then like I drew really good. I didn't want to pop me out because then I can't top deck a prank kid like I just did. And the prank kid is just simply game. I can chain block from Ash. Make it so a doodle has to be the one that gets stopped. So we'll summon effects. Wait. So is this like? I mean, that's continuous. So it's gonna like keep applying. So I can actually. Oh my gosh! I can summon a prank kid from deck, and it'll be in attack position. That's broken. I mean, yeah, we'll summon. I guess usually you bring out something else here, but. Yeah, I was going to say, let's just get switched to attack. Cool. <laughs> That's a funny way to win. Can't believe I kept Maxi over Valia and then that happened. Maybe I also just don't play enough hand traps to like reliably keep Maxi. I mean, there's like Valors, Nib, but what else? I know there's Imperm. The Imperm isn't the greatest. That's what I had. Okay, but there we go. I won the first match versus Flanderies. We can hop into another match. Actually, you know what? Before I hop into the, another, uh, the next match real quick, I want to see something. I want to go ahead and look at Flounderies and see what, what rarities are these cards. Okay. Um, oh, so... Assuming that you don't play with Snow, this is the only Ultra. That could definitely be a deck that we play out like play one day. Probably wait a little while though. I feel like people don't want to see Flounderies right now. 
Just because, like, Statue just got banned, so it's like... I mean, I guess, like, Statue just got banned, so maybe you want to see, like, new gameplay of the deck. Or maybe it's just like, alright, we'll take this little break from the deck, and the deck will sneak back in eventually. Okay, so I'm going second this match. I'm tier 1 gold. I am kind of crazy. Absolutely bonkers. Alright, open max C. Open two prank kids, but I open small world, so one of those are just leaving. Aw, oh, jeez, man. Why can't you play a deck that's specials? Oh, I also play Ash. That's another hand trap I play. Of course. It's like, probably the best hand trap in this game. Nah, probably not. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that much branded. Maybe it's just because I'm low rated. Or low ranked. Okay. Maxi actually can go in against this deck. And I'm, I'm fine with them discarding Prosperity, too. Yeah, they're spending a lot of cards here. Extravagance being a plus one, but them still only having three cards in hand. With one Trap Card and Graveyard Engine rolling. I'm fine with Golden Lord being, like, rolling and doing what it's doing. I'm not even going to chain Maxi there. Because high key, if I chain Maxi there, they just leave it in hand. They don't summon it. Because they have Walkero that gets the Scarlet. So, I just go neg one, when I can hold max C, and all their trap- Okay, that was crazy. There was just no way. Yeah, they just- they're just not real. Okay. That's fair. This is a really bad matchup for my deck, though. Like, really, really bad. Floodgate, like, goes in Warlords, both FTKs. Easily FTKs. But DPE is pretty good against their deck. Um... Yeah, so I guess we just combo, but I kind of want to grab Temple. Okay. Um, I forget, how do I win in the Temple? Can't be Valor. Ash? Yeah, just Ash. Nope, leave Roxy's. Okay. Seems kind of bad. How do we go Roxy's into it then? I don't want to banish a Roxy's face down, but I'm kind of down if it's need to. Um, I mean, what else has like 15 Earth? No, none of my Earths match it. All right, I'll just do this. This is simple. I don't, I don't remember the small world lines with this deck. I, I actually had a small world spreadsheet for this deck. Not a spreadsheet though, they were flashcards. And I studied them um, before I went to PPG. Because I wanted to know all my small world lines. But some, I didn't keep track of all of them. Like I kept the side deck out of it for the most part. Go ahead, activate. And then summon. No chain, special, and then, yep, go ahead, bring out Fateful, normal, uh, I don't think we're gonna chain block this, cause, wait, no, I can still just chain block it, yeah, it's no effect, so we, we can just chain block it all, yeah, and then Roxy's, I don't think it's gonna banish. I think I just banished Maxi because like it's only gonna be a draw one. Maxi was supposed to be better than this, but then they, I don't know. Yeah, so like we're just gonna get rid of Maxi, keep Draco back. It's pretty much like would I rather keep Draco back or would I rather draw one? And I feel like I'd rather keep Draco back, because that's also just a free discard. And I'm going to have to just discard Maxi, like, right away anyways. Okay, I also drew right, which sucks. And then special from deck, you know, we banished Wind. Start with Roxy's. Go ahead and bring that out. Okay, and then effects. Go search Griffin. I'm going to start playing a little bit faster. Grab that, discard Draco back. And then Draco back effect to equip. I wonder if they're ever gonna like unhit the brave poke, uh, brave package a little bit. So equip. And then 
We'll go activate special. Any response? Nope. Okay. Summon. Then link in the doodle. One, two. Also, like Link Karibo with Prank Kids fanzies. And like DPE mirrors. Really was nice. But I don't think a lot of people are playing DP on here just because, like, Celestial's banned, Fusion Destiny's at one, Maxi's being played, so, like, people play a lot of Maxi, which means if you go down an Anaconda line, you can definitely get hurt. But I guess it's also, like, always a decent plan B, but without Celestial, it's not really, because it's hard to catch back up once you're down that bad. And then Special Out. Bring this out. And then effect tribute, add back, add back one, add back two. Okay, no response on their side. So add these back. I also play the RIP, which helps a lot against back row decks. Okay, and then activate the pranks. Then we can use the pranks effect. So, discard, um, yeah, we'll just discard that. Discard, bring out token. Um, let's see, because they'll be down to 75. Okay, so that should be game, unless if they have something else. Which I don't think they do, but... Hey, we're gonna find out. One, two, summon. And then use the water effect. Okay, so gang a thousand, go special, bring out the fire. I guess like I technically could have just skipped that step and gone straight in the bow wow. Yeah, I, I probably should have, because I just cost myself a body for no reason. But I have game anyways, so it shouldn't matter. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because, right, it's just fusion these two. They get 2,000 body. Effect, 555. Five, five. So then, that's 75, and they're down 500, so that's 8k. I bounce, and I have Griffin to negate Scarlet. Yep. Okay, so, we'll just activate... Nah, no response. Um, we'll summon Rocket Ride. Right? Nah. We'll go into this. In case if we get stopped. Have this for their turn. Summon. I mean, I guess I technically could have 8,000 damage even without fire effect. Uh, we'll do 1, 2. They don't have anything at this point, like on any of that. Otherwise, it would have just already been done. And if it's saved for that, then that'd be unfortunate. <laughs> Let's go ahead, summon. And then effect, boost attack. And like I was saying, I could get that extra damage because I could use these to make Bow Wow and then boost this attack up. So then I'm losing 500 because my monster is no longer boosted 5. Oh, wait, I still have to. Yeah, I gotta, like, commit to a game. Because I'm really starting to run out of time. Bounce a battle. Okay. Attack. That goes through. Can't stop it. Attack. Can't stop it because washer. Attack. And then they're going to go activate Scarlet. We're going to go Chain Griffin. So negate, and then try to go for the final blow with the adventure token. Oh, it's going to go away. Oh, yeah, it went away because I just catched the dub. Yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir, ski. Okay, okay, okay. One more match. One more match. But we'll play the last one with, uh, we'll change. We'll change it up. We'll play branded real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one. Ooh, I could throw hand traps in these ducks now, too, because I have more of them. We're going to have to go through, or I'm going to have to go through my decks and change them. 
Still want to build the Runic Synchro deck. I know I've been talking about it. I want to build that. Um, Labyrinth. Foundries. I want to put all these together. Maybe I should wait for the ban list. Yeah, I'm going to wait for the ban list to decide what I want to build. Since it's only like a few days away anyways. I just built so many different decks. It's not like I'm going to have any Ultra for a little while. This hand's good. I feel like I've drawn Instant Fusion every game in this deck. And this like... This deck just doesn't have a good instant fusion line. I literally just have it there. It's like, it makes Dragos to Paleo by itself. Like, I don't know. It makes Drago. It's decent. Like, I don't know. I just wanted something else that like puts another body on field or helps out. Because we were just bricking a lot. So like, this helps you get the poly. And then... Realistically, Polly should help unbrick a lot of your hands, or at least some of your hands. Like Instant Fusion plus Albaz works. That's Smear Jade. So, um, but all right, all I did was they search engage. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna try to TK our opponent. Let's we'll start with Instant. There's a decent chance that this just gets like stopped. Summon this out, attack position, summon, and then activate its effect. So if there's a hand trap, it'll be done on this. Yeah, because this card's insane. Like if you have Valor Imperm, you definitely just Valor Imperm if this is their first play. Otherwise, if it is just like a heavy Pride of Plant deck package, then you lose. And it's safe to assume it is, but. Um, it sucks that these are all Albaz. Like, I guess, like, in hand they're not, though. So I can still use them. Hmm. I was gonna say, because I could just poly into a Chimera and do one of those. I guess we'll use this first. See where this gets us. Go ahead, dump. Oh, uh, I don't need to dump Albaz, because I'm about to dump one anyways. Right? Hmm. Yeah, I'll just dump opening. And then put back, troll tragedy. Ooh, okay, okay. That's pretty nice. I guess we just poly and go into it now. I'll activate the effect, see if I get them. Target, response. Okay, no response. Actually, poly. That could be a thing, you know, you activate the effect to see if it, uh,. Let's them try to activate something. Use one, two, three. And then summon. Maybe I shouldn't have, no, I shouldn't have used Albaz. I was supposed to use Albi on there. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. That's nah, whatever. It's whatever. One, two. Just like I could still summon Albaz and Albaz effect. Like I could have done that. So that's like obvious. Okay, target shiz because you can't because you can't target my guy. Nice, you're about to find that out the hard way. You're gonna find out why this is an unwinnable matchup. You you don't have Mystic Mind in your deck. That's gonna make it kind of tough. The search, yeah. But all this went through, so this kind of works. Pull out this. Yeah, we'll go ahead out that. And then they're gonna get their ray effect. <clears throat> which is fine. Right? Or is it just scoop? Could see a scoop phase. I would be down for a scoop phase. Okay. Nope, that's fine. I can bring out Kaina. Which is not going to be enough to save him today. We still have so much gas. Tags out right away. Oh, okay. So it's just mega game. Okay. So you still can't target this. There's no way you just tried that. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Okay, that was a great way to end the match, though. Or the video. Oh my god. There's a. <laughs> 
<laughs> you try to target it twice. Just read it after it doesn't work the first. You know, what? I actually I can't say that. I've done it way too many times. I actually have no room to speak here. But okay, that is going to be it for the video. And with that being said, the Master Duel Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day and stay safe.